Next news is out of United Kingdom. Boris Johnson claimed Islam put Muslim world centuries behind. Boris Johnson, he's a favorite to become the next prime minister, um, wrote in in a in a in an appendix of a book in 2016 uh, about the Roman Empire, saying that uh, Islam has caused the Muslim world to literally be centuries behind the West. Um, and as a result, uh, Muslim grievance is a factor in virtually every conflict. Um, so, well, he's right. you know, everyone is, what's that? He's right. Yeah. Well, he's, because he's, you know, a favorite to become the next prime minister, he's under a lot of scrutiny right now. And he has a lot of people asking him, do you still feel, feel this way? Uh, and he's declining to answer those things. But he is, he's actually said, a lot of other things uh, over the years, quoting Winston Churchill. Um, uh, I don't. I did Wait, not so, write sorry. Did stuff. he say every conflict? Because if he said every conflict, that doesn't seem right. But but the he said in virtually every conflict. Wait, so no, he's that... saying in a lot, but not all. Virtually every conflict. No, that's an exaggeration. But the, that that first part where he said that Islam has put the Muslim uh, world centuries behind, that part is correct. And you said he said this. The reason he wrote this in his in a book in two thousand sixteen. The reason why this is surfacing. Two thousand six. Oh wow, two thousand six. So the reason why this is coming up now is because he's he's likely going to become prime minister, and people are trying to they notice this now. Right. Yes. So they're digging to his past, but a lot. Of, but th this guy is a historian, isn't he? Like, yeah, he was. A, yeah, he's a historian. He was a pope, so it's not like people are like, why is he commenting over this? Well, he wrote about history. He was a historian. He had his history channel show or something. So I don't think it's out of his field, you know. To you know, it's relevant to what he was doing. So, and he tends to say a lot of things that he just, you know thinks, which is, I think, fine, but uh, in the same essay, he acknowledged that Christianity had a history of disgusting cruelty, writing that it he wasn't did? so long ago that we were burning books and heretics ourselves. Wait, so he has said that Christianity also had this history of, you know, violent... Okay, so what the hell then people... Okay, this is such a level of hypocrisy. So if he's already said also this about Christianity... Why are people not getting offended about the Christianity part? Huh? And he also, he also uh, at one point, was angry at newspaper editors who thought Islamo panicky headlines were good for sales. Um, he thought that was uncalled for, uh, and he spoke out against that, where a lot of politicians who were hungry for votes um, also ended up saying the same thing after he did. But... Um, yeah, so I mean, I don't know. Wait, but this is, doesn't this show the hypocrisy of the public, the outrage mob, that he, this is a yeah, person that has said yeah. Islam has put the, um, uh, the Muslim world centuries behind, and he also has said Christianity has a violent past, and has anybody come out and says, like, how offensive this man is going to become prime minister? Why is he saying these things about Christianity? Are we hearing that at all? Or is it just the Islam one that, like, doesn't this show that the Muslim world, okay, so, yeah, he, Muslim world is a lot more sensitive, and the so-called guardians, the white guardians of the, of the Muslim world are also extremely more sensitive about Islam and their Christianity, like, the, this is more, this is more a lot, this is much more about the reaction, you know, outrage mob, than it says about Boris. I mean, I don't... Boris, I'm pretty sure he has some shitty policies and some maybe some good ones. I don't know. This is not really about him. To me, this is more about the people that react to these things, the, the people that their career is based on getting offended about something. To me, it shows how, you know, one-sided they are. Right? Right? I mean, yeah, and it looks like they're they're pulling everything. Uh, the Winston Churchill quote that he said is no, there's no stronger retrograde force in the world than Islam. Um, so they're they're just pulling up everything he's ever said ever. But why are they? Like, no, I know, okay, but is I know why are they not pulling? The, the, again, this is fascinating to me. The, why are they not pulling out the Christian? Why are they not holding that against them? Like, ah, oh, I got you. You said this about Christianity. Because there's this no Christian phobia. <laughs> I know. Like, he, 
<laughs> you and I know why. Yeah, exactly. okay. But honestly, if even if he, like, I see a lot of people comment on this and say, like, when somebody says, like, oh, Islam has put the Muslim world centuries behind, people say, like, all religion, oh my god, I really want to punch a wall or something when every time if people say, oh, no, all religion, yes, yes, all religion, but now we're talking about Islam. It's as if, you know, do these people do this about every, any other thing? Like, why is it that when I go and say, oh, yeah, Christianity has a violent past and stuff like that, people don't come and say, like, no, all religion, why are you talking about Christianity, right? Why is it that when I say, like, um, homeopathy is bullshit, right? Homeopathy is bullshit. People are like, why are you just talking about homeopathy? Why are you not saying all woo? You have to say, no, no, not just homeopathy. All superstitious beliefs, all these woo crap, all, all these alternative medicine, all of them are bullshit. You can't, you should never say just, you should never just focus on homeopathy. All of them are bad. Like, what the hell? Like, do I always have to, like, be... This is what I say. Okay, so if you tell me, all, if I talk about Islam or Christianity or any other religion, and you come back at me and say, no, all religion, then I come back at you and I say, okay, why why just religion? All Why not all dogma? Okay, why are you just focusing on religion? And then you come back at me and like, okay, fine, all dogma. And I'm like, why are you focusing on dogma? Why not just all bad ideas? Why just dogma? There are other bad ideas as well. And like, okay, fine, all bad ideas. I'm like, why just ideas? Why just bad ideas? Why not everything that is bad? So let's be general, completely general. All everything that is bad is bad. Okay, is that general enough for all of you guys? All right. The new, the new atheist republic slogan. Everything bad yeah. is bad. Bad is bad. Okay, is that yeah. I can't get more general than that. Hey, right. and let me see what the top comment is. Alex is uh, Alex is saying exactly uh, why strive for advancement when a silly book has all the answers. Well, I mean it. It's not. I mean, Islam holds the society back, but it's more nuanced. The way it does it is more nuanced than that. By the way, a lot, some people comment but say like. Oh, but what about the um, the art and the uh, you know the golden age of Islam and all that stuff? Like, yeah, I mean, is, it, what about that? Okay, so Christianity had that as well. Does that mean Christianity was not harmful? Right. Every empire, when they get when it gets rich, it goes through an era a time when it does art and history and poetry. Like even the Mongols, even the even the Mongols, okay, that were uh, the most obsessed with this killing and destruction, at some point they also said like, hey, maybe we should build something and say some poetry or something, right? I mean, every empire, when they get rich, at some point they sit, sit down and start, you know, doing some science and philosophy and do some, build some shit, right? So... It has nothing to do, the, the fact that they did science and art and stuff has nothing to do with Islam. You, if you think, if you're saying that, oh, it's because of Islam, you have to actually show me that without Islam, those things would not, would not have happened. Or without Christianity in Europe, the science wouldn't have happened. Because I bet you all of that science and all of that art and all of that philosophy not only would have happened without this religion, it would have happened a lot more. Okay, so whatever science and history and art you're saying, it's not because of Islam, it's, it's in spite of Islam, right? But Rick is saying, not unlike, okay, this is what Rick, again, have to bring in. Rick is saying, not unlike what Christianity did to the thinkers of the time, imagine where we might have been had they been allowed to follow their rational scientific Purist. Okay, Rick. Yes, not unlike Christianity, but I wonder, Rick, would you ever, if the post was about Christianity, would you have come and said, not unlike Islam, or is it just only when people talk about Islam that you come and say, not unlike Christianity? Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. 
But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.